Hey guys, what is going on? I am Vsuli Bob, and today I am uploading to the Exxon Unpunished channel, as you're probably watching right now. But I have an awesome video here with Josh and I's friend, Paul. So, Paul, if you want to introduce yourself and say what we're going to be talking about today. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Paul. I'm a good friend of Sully, Josh, and right now you're just watching a TDM sniping game, 23 and 4. But we're not really here to talk about that. Um, so, Saul, so you want to get into it? Yeah, all right, guys. So a big topic in the community, I guess, um, probably one of the bigger ones, is the Batman shooting. The uh, the man, I uh, forget his name, he had he went into the movie theater and shot, up, shot 12 people and killed them and injured 50 people in this movie theater. In uh, Colorado, I believe it was. So, yeah, his name was James Holmes, and he's a very bad man. But today we're just going to talk about our opinions on this shooting. So. Well, my opinion is, uh, I don't remember who said this, but I think it was Woody's Gamertag. He was talking about the media up hype of this. Like, I mean, 12 people, you know, it's it's not that large of a group. I mean, it's really sad, but I don't think it'd be that cared about if it was, you know, soldiers, maybe some hoodlums, but just random people at a movie theater. Uh, I, I think it's blown up by the media just to have a story. Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. Um, the media is definitely all over this, everywhere, even out of the country, people are talking about it. And 12 people, I guess, yeah, like you said, it's a pretty good amount. I mean, not like not like 100 people or anything, but, I mean, injuring 50 people and killing 12, that's a total of, like, 62 people. So that's a lot of people's lives that were, like, in danger, and I don't know. Um, I'm just going to talk about this Playboy model right here. Uh, Trisha Evans, uh, she had posted a, um, a tweet that said, I heard the new Batman movie is really to die for, and I guess, um, probably not the best, uh, joke she could have said, uh, I don't really think it's that funny because of all the people that, lo like, their lives were ruined, she, um, and also, she got in a fight with, uh, Dead Maw 5, I believe that's how it's pronounced, uh, the dubstep maker guy, um, and they had a fight, and he's he's saying, good to know, uh, I seriously had no idea how big of a piece of shit you are, unfollowed. And she says, listen, apparently I have a great opinion, uh, apparently I have a different opinion than you, that doesn't make me a piece of shit. And then he says, so your opinion of the tragedy in Colorado is humor? Not sure how that's convoluted into an opinion. So her humor um, has not gotten a lot of positive feedback and has really sparked, I don't know, something that's really bad. I mean, coming from a Playboy model, I mean, I wouldn't really listen to her, but obviously she doesn't have the best things to say, and she's getting a lot of hate for that, especially from Dead Mall 5. I don't know, I thought that was a good topic to bring up, considering this lady is there, not There's right just the head. a point where you don't go to. There's just a point where those are real people. It's not like this was a movie. This is real shit going down. Those are people's lives that are being taken for no apparent reason. That's just that's just fucked up. It is really, it really is. It's just I don't know. It's it's how can you even say anything that's even like any? How can you put any humor in that at all? That's that's just like horrible. How you could even think that it's humorous like the least bit. Some people are just sick. I don't know. Yeah, um, but on the on the other hand, um, this uh, one girl who got injured, she got to meet Obama. So uh, I guess that was that was good. I'm not sure of her name, but she did get to meet Obama, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I think that's enjoyable. And but the fact is, like this guy has been planning ha had planned it for a while. It wasn't just like a spark thing, you know, like, that he just said, I'm just gonna go kill all these people. Like, he had bombs and traps in his house set for the police when they came. So this guy is, like, really smart. So, I mean, that's kind of uh, the sick part I, of it. 
I mean, how he did it, of course he had it planned out. Yeah. You think that anyway, if he was just randomly killing, there's no way he would have gone in with the gas mask, smokes, flat jacket, just all out. And it seems so weird, like, it's like a theatrical killing, as if, you know, trying to make a, a giant thing out of it, like it's supposed to come from a movie. Yeah, I don't know, it just kind of kills me that somebody would... The minds of these people these days are just and horrible. And the fact that he got a hold of all those guns, shotgun, he had tactical shotgun, he had um, uh, like machine guns, M16s, pistols, he had a variety of things. And he also lined everybody up um, that he could, and he just shot them. And then I don't know. I just I, I just think it's horrible tragedy. Uh, oh no, I think. That. Oh, well, I want to talk about the imposter thing going on with it. Yes, yes, definitely. All right, you have anything to say about that, Paul? I think that there is clearly a difference. If you just look, the first thing you notice is the noses. One, like, the guy with the brown hair that, you know, is the main picture that came out at first. Mm -hmm. You know, he has a pretty, pretty wide nose. <laughs> yeah. Tell. And then the orange guy just has this, like, small, slender nose. And it's just like... Yeah. When... <sighs> See, I've seen the pictures together, and they've pointed out that, um, that... So this guy's obviously the nose, and also the ears. The ears are different for both of the guys. And, I mean, I see a resemblance, obviously, but I really don't think they're the same guy. Mm. Doubt it. I mean, it, they look, I guess, the same in some ways, but... I think uh, they're they're different, different people. So I mean, how is this going down? Like, what exactly got them mixed up, and which I'm, one is who is the... who is the even who who like apparently this guy's. I think all right. I think this James Holmes guy is trying to just confuse us all, <laughs> so he can get a, try to get away with it. But I mean, this guy was going to school. He was he was in college. He had a great life ahead of him. And um, he actually was taking a class, I believe, in psychology. Um, so that's kind of weird, or like how the human mind works, or something, um, something of that nature. And I just think it's kind of weird how he was studying like people's minds, and like so he had an idea of what was going to happen. I don't know. I just think it's horrible. That's just scary to think that some of these killers are just so smart in how how they take apart everything that's going to happen. Yeah, so, I, I know what you're saying. All right, well, guys, we're coming up to the end of this gameplay. Um, Wasn't that great, but <laughs> good dual com, I guess. Kind of cut you off there. All right, yeah. guys. Peace. See ya.